Yeah, we'll see if angels can fly. Please give me a chance. Boys. No, please. Mm -hmm. please. Put her out of our misery, Eugene. Please, please. Fucking do it. No, please, please, please don't. Please let me go, please. All right, man. Don't do this to me, please. Don't worry, please. Dying's easy. It's living that you'd scare you to death. Please don't do this to me. Please, please. I got to. Do it alone. <laughs> okay, that's lame. Like I said, I wish that there'd been a little bit more opportunity, but it's okay. I don't, I don't have to. No, I don't have to permit, guys. I know. I wish. I wish they'd given you know, like, try to make her pay or something like that. No, nobody's gonna find me. Or, yeah, no, nobody can find me. Um, honestly, like, I wish, like, they could've, if they'd asked me, like, they could've hurt her pretty badly. They didn't have to just toss her off a bridge. Um, that's okay, you know. Uh, so she's gonna, she's gonna be hurt, obviously. She's gonna be hurt. But this is not the end for Saffron, okay? Uh, if you died every time you were just a good guy, then, you know, you'd just never, never be a good guy. Thanks, guys. This is going to stir up a lot of stuff with the natives. Yes, part-time dishwasher. I really try and respect, uh, respect, uh, you know, when people have have the drop and stuff will you go on a revenge trip no saffron saffron believes in forgiveness and redemption and stuff she's not the kind to go on a revenge trip no nobody will find me um yeah no they weren't they weren't trying to force burn me yeah don't you know don't make those accusations yeah now the natives are going to be on him that deputies are gonna be on him i mean yeah i'm, I'm not permitting to that this character is a is a long-term kind of character uh yeah it's honestly uh she's supposed to be a deputy if i get to be a deputy her choice is perma small thanks eric I was a bummer because i was gonna if they if deputies are in town i was gonna walk up to tommy and try and talk to him in town uh, yeah, I honestly, I, I wish that they had tried to press her into like paying them or something. Cause that's what I was trying to go with. Cause I would have gone with something like that, but you know, it's, it's okay. That just, that ends that little arc right there. They shouldn't hunt me anymore after something like that. Generally. Yeah, that arc should be finished, but what they just stirred up with the natives is probably not going to be finished. No, I'm not perma-dead, guys. I'm just waiting here for a while because it would take a while for me to wash downstream. I'm just going to wait here for 10 minutes or so. Let's see, what time is it now? I didn't even have time to build up a real cry. I wasn't even doing a real cry. <laughs> Those memes. I know. I guess I well she took some she took some shot she took some shotgun from Coolidge. Uh which is, you know, like I said, I try and respect the drop. So he started shooting at me and I just had a bow and arrow. Uh so I stopped. Uh it's too bad that blood mouth and uh Hyro couldn't get around. I did scream a bit, Risen, but my character started screaming. It should make you feel bad, Lord Crow. <laughs> Moon better feel bad too. They all better. They all better feel bad. They all better feel so bad. <laughs> yeah, Eugene was being creepy. Ugh. I heard a voice. 
Shame because his RP is so entertaining, but that means you're. <laughs> I'm really deep. Come on. I don't think they can get me from here. I want to F, but I feel bad because they're right here. Or someone is. No, you don't really wake up the closest doctor's office. No, I'm not moving downstream. Am I mad that you did it? No. Nah. I, I just, you know, I would have been happy with, you know, different resolutions. Especially when my character is trying to bargain. But, uh, it's fine. Yeah, nobody can get me out of the water is the thing. We're just gonna, we're just gonna wait a little bit. I think it makes a lot more sense from their perspective, but I get what you're saying, yeah. So for me, I, I haven't been running from them that much, you know? Finally, no. Someone's here. Thank God. Somewhere around here, I can't quite find their uh, body. Okay, what's your name? Henry. I don't know if I can see that. Henry. Sounds like Cash. He didn't recognize you without the jacket, I guess. What are you doing out here, anyway? Well, I was heading to the Wapiti Reservation to go talk to someone. Yeah, it but, sounds um, like there were some witnesses. Kind of saw something that caught my eye. Yeah, it sounds like Cash. Hello, is there anybody out here? <sighs> Holy shit, there's somebody right down here. Oh, they might be able to figure out somebody down can. here. I can see him in the, bo in the bottom of the river here. I got a lasso with that alert. So Saffron will have some vague too deep for memories. It. Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to get her. I don't think they'll be able to get her. But you do see her down there, right? I thought I saw something. Yeah, so I see her right there. I could maybe try to pull her to me. Hey, see what you can do. I gotta right, ask here, the bot I'm what to do. You over here. What the hell? What? You're a little bit slippery. Let me try again. No luck for some reason, Cash. Hmm. If we just get like something to weigh down your rope or something so it sinks down so she can grab onto it. Yeah, I tried the super weighted rope. I'll try one more time. I'm going to try up from a little higher, maybe. I think I need a relog. I think something's wrong. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't think they can see me. Nope. Uh, yeah, we may need to uh, relog your your rope there. We add more yep, rope yep. So okay, I'm a relog. But you know the real heavy logs that like are gonna... a small. <laughs> relog your rope there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, we pulled her out. There we go. <laughs> I've just got her on a high whiplash right there. Got her way up in the air. And she got water in her. <laughs> Drink that. <laughs> How, what do you do? You pound on a stomach or something? Yeah, I'm laying her back. I believe lay her on her side. Tip her head sideways a little bit. Okay. Here. On her side. <laughs> I'm not an expert, but I know a little bit. Just breathe, just breathe. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, 
<laughs> Someone yeah, watched. it looks like she's got a wound here. She's bleeding pretty good. <laughs> what happened, ma'am? I'm not sorry. I'm not sure. Please. All right, why don't you just stay calm? Please, just please, just please, stay please. quiet. It's all right. We'll, we'll talk to you later. We're going to need to get her help right now. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, shit. Is your horse Gearheart? Go ahead and take him. He's a good horse. He'll get you there quick. Yeah, I just... Uh, you can ride your own horse and take her there if, if you want, if you don't mind. All right. Oh, come on, Watchman. I just said you're a nice horse. Damn. I figured that's right. I got her. No, it wasn't. You get back here. Hold on. Oh my goodness, that was special. I'll follow your guys' lead. Well, Gearheart, we got three missing folks we got to keep looking for. If All you right. want, if you don't mind, take her straight back to Valentine. There should be a woman named Bianca there who's a good medic. All right, Maybe I a don't nurse. mind. Either way, she's real good. <laughs> I'll get their post haste. Okay, let her know that we're still Tell searching her that for we'll others. Tell her we'll be back to talk in a bit. Right, and who, who are you again? Sorry? Uh, ain't Sheriff Cash. Cash, me. I'll remember that. What are you saying, Holly? <laughs> You're gonna get help real um, soon, okay? Reckon maybe we should quickly bandage the bleeding wound <laughs> just to get her stable. Okay, sure. Yeah, just let me get out of here real quick. All right, hold on, miss. Y'all got any bandages with you? Waxman, I swear to God. Yeah, I got bandages. All right, here, I'm going to lay her down then. Very gently here, because my horse is a piece of shit. Here, I got you. <laughs> All right, thank you kindly. Thrown off a bridge from what I saw. What you saw. So who did this to her? Didn't get good face that dudes. That dudes. Just didn't get their face. How many people? Oh shit. That's something I should have counted. I count I think about five. Ah shit. Five people jumped one lady on a bridge. They should they should blood mouth and I should. They shot Bloodmouth and Hyro. <laughs> Shit. Did say you, Saffron? I... It's hard to breathe. Well, keep trying your best. <laughs> Hopefully that'll hold the blood in a little better. Uh, okay, uh, are they at YPD? Bloodmouth? Hyro? Oh, he's coming down from PD. Coming down. And they got shot on the road? They were ran through the forest. <laughs> Ryder? Ryder. Hey, excuse me. Yeah, I mowed it a few times. Well. Alright, one second. Let me cut those ropes for you. Those must be mighty uncomfortable. Alright, just hold still. It's alright, just keep breathing. Or at least try to. You're having trouble breathing? I think my ribs. I think your ribs. Alright, just... <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna get you to a doctor here, alright? 
So I'm going to pick you up here and bring you to Valentine. Mm. All right, this may hurt a little bit. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah, they did. I'm shocked. All right, here we go. I did not think it was possible. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there there was people, they were saying there's someone down there and stuff like that. Which makes the RP way better when there's witnesses and stuff. Just keep trying slow breaths, <laughs> not too deep, all right. <laughs> if you're complaining about your ribs, it sounds like you're broken. <laughs> Just shallow breaths, try not to overexert yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. I know it hurts. I wish I had something to offer you for the pain, but I don't. Not really. Uh, it just makes it a whole lot... That makes the RP a lot more continuous. Because otherwise I would have respawned somewhere really weird like Emerald Ranch in the barn. <laughs> Come on, Lexman, get going. Yeah, this is still from being thrown off the bridge. They found me. I have no idea where is he... Go where, is, where is he going? What... I think he's lost. <laughs> like, he should have just ran back through Cumberland. What is he going? What's happening? <laughs> Never took this path before. Okay, yeah, then we're, you're going to get in cap. We're just going to both have to F. I don't know who you are. <laughs> yes, he is alone with me. Q wolves. Dude, go across. You got to cross the river. Yeah, okay, okay. You're figuring it out. Okay. <laughs> oh. We're almost there. Hold on. I know this path. Shallow breaths. Try not to overexert yourself there. I'm fine. I'm acting, Risen. <laughs> It was RP. We're almost to Valentine. Just hold on. <laughs> I'm fine, guys. Uh, deputies. <laughs> I'm fine. I know, Waxman. I know you're tired, boy. Alright, this may hurt. Yep, 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 hold on, we're almost to the doctor's office. It's alright, it's alright. Try not to overexert yourself, it's alright. Yes, sir. Do medical RP? Alright, no. hold on. We're almost there. Wow, there, doctor. Eric. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lay you on the table, nice and gently, all right? All right, nice and gently, there we go. Yeah, perfectly comfortable. I'm surprised they didn't take my improved bow. To do. I need a doctor. Hold, I'm gonna send out on. a war party now. Accidentally oh, okay. befriends oh, the natives a day you, you before she gets you wrecked. There we go. You found her. <laughs> I watched the whole thing. What's Can you stay with her? Term? Throw her off a bridge. Son of a bitch. Can you watch over her? I'm gonna go find a medic. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, doing down. Oh, Check Delilah. time. Thank God. Uh, what, would, what do we have? Um, she's complaining about her ribs. I'm guessing she broke her ribs. She got thrown off a bridge into some water, so. <laughs> Darling, alright. Hang in there for me, okay? Yeah, sure. Ooh, Jesus Wonder Christ. Alright, uh, I'm gonna need some lavender oil and olive oil. No, oh, Jesus. Alright. Hey there, Saffron. I'm just gonna turn you gently, alright? <sighs> it hurts to <No>. breathe. <coughs> Alright, I know this is gonna sound dumb because it's, it's really... 
the only thing I can say, like, try to relax, okay? Try to relax your breathing. If you feel a panic coming up, squeeze my hand, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna give you something. Uh, let's see. You're bleeding, probably. So, no willow bark. Um, I will give you a topical cream, all right? That will help you with, uh, with the pain, at least. Okay. I've got the oils here. Apply some cocaine cream. All right, this should help you soon with the uh, with the pain. Okay, okay, honey, I'm gonna turn you around a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take care of that uh, gunshot, the buckshot in the back of your uh, back, in the back of your back. All right. Well, don't don't mind me. I can't talk, but I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, Rabbit, can you help me turn her? I'm not mm -hmm. quite there yet with my power. Alright. <clears throat> On three. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. <laughs> Alright. One, two, and three. There we go. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can, can you just, like, clean her face and, mm -hmm. you know, just hold her hand and everything? It would be very lovely. Hey, Morgan. I, I I can help out where needed. Uh, yes. Absolutely. I'm not that strong yet, so... When I need muscle, do you think you can help me? Mm-hmm. Alright, so we got a buckshot wound to the back. You can squeeze my hand if you need saffron. Okay. I am all too familiar with buckshots at the back. Hmm. I, I mean, if if that's not good for you, you know, I, I don't want to. Uh, no, I'll be fine. Torture you here. Nope. I just want to make sure she's as patched up as can be. Oof. All right. I mean, I could see buckshots. All right, um, if you could turn her to her good side. So her left side is completely bruised. She's turned on the mm -hmm. right side. If someone could just feel down her stomach, feel for tenderness, let me know, um, because she might be bleeding internally. All right, I can do that. Uh, Morgan, <laughs> if you could take a stethoscope now yeah, and listen to her lung sounds, that would be lovely. And let me know if it's like wet sounds or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm all delegating you. I'm, I'm just like, I, I would not be ready to work Do not apologize. Mm. <coughs> There's definitely yeah, something. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, darling, this, this should help you. Breathe a little bit better. Uh, her rib is not feeling good. Alright, is it dislocated or fractured? What do you think? It Can you feels feel that? Very loose. Mm hmm. All right. feels, um, I feel like it's, it's, it's broken off or something. Broken off, alright. Alright, we'll deal with that. Um, the lung sounds? What do we have there? They don't sound good. Sounds like <laughs> bubbly. Mm -hmm. All right, bubbly. All right, we'll, we'll need to take care of that first. All right, draining yeah, uh, it's means it's... incision. That's really not the best part here right now. Um, we're gonna have to put that slightly different here. So I'm gonna make an incision in the front, uh, front right. And insert the stent there. Usually it's on the sides. <laughs> Fuck that all. <laughs> Hang in there, darling. You're doing so well. Uh, Kate, can you take over here? Uh, she's gonna lose. Uh, 
We just put a little uh, piece of her ribs. Yeah, so uh, she's got blood in her lungs. Uh, I've just inserted the chest tube. She's lying on her right side. Her left side is completely bruised with one, uh, what was it, the second uh, rib possibly broken off or dislocated. Uh, it's completely bruised up. Okay. She's got a buckshot uh, wound to the back as well. But I was uh, trying to take care of the liquid in her lungs first. Alright. Um, All right. So she's rolled up a bit. You're taking care of the liquid in her lungs or do you need to lay down? No, it's it's already done. Uh, I inserted a chest tube. We'll see are if, they not if gonna... it's draining right now. Okay. That's where we're at at the moment. Sorry, I'm not uh, quite there yet. Our rib is completely loose. It's barely hanging in there. We might need to put in a metal plate. Yeah, I'll have to file it down and uh, match it up. Uh, and then uh, put a bracket on it. Also, uh, she's just in take it a out. lot of pain. I haven't given her any painkillers, though, because that thins the blood. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, I've given her cocaine cream on the bruising. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'll go fetch things if you need them. It's alright, we got you. What is her rib over? Do we know which rib it was that's broken? Uh, I'm, Second I'm not... from the bottom, I think is... Yeah. Second from what the you said earlier. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. On the left side, that would be. Alright. That's one of those that's not attached anyways. Um, we can shorten it, like I said, and put it back together. Or we can uh, remove it out completely. If we remove it out, her innards will be a little bit more in danger. So if there's a way that we can file it down and put it back together with the bracket, it would be best. Even if it is a little bit shorter than it used to be. Can I help you? Oh, all right. Well, um, uh, I'll be out know. once this is done, Jeremiah. Uh, oh, that's oh, a pleasure to meet you, Jeremiah. I'm Delilah. <laughs> Um, Morgan, with your injury, are you able to file the bone if it is savable? I can do that, yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. The uh, bone file and everything, there should be an extra one. Oh, over bone there. file. I have one only from out here. Okay. Yeah, I try to keep them in my bags. I don't want to make pain noises anymore since he passed out. Let me know what. Joshua, thank you for the follow. Yeah, you can, um, since it's a detached one on one side, you can go ahead and pull it completely out. Oh. You'll be able to look at it and see oh. how splintered it is. Oh. If you have a good three inches of it, then that should be fine. For you to file down and then like i said we can reattach it'll still give her organs a little bit of protection then i'm just trying to see if i've gotten all the fragments out from back here i was worried i thought from the was the rib piercing the lung i don't want to take it out and then that causes an issue too Yeah. No, the the piercing, though, you guys use the same hole to put the chest tube in, right? I, or is I, this... I'm not sure. Mm, okay. Um, look in there and see if the rib was pulled out from the, the hole and then the, the chest tube was placed into the hole and instead of creating a separate hole for her. 
If not, then we'll, uh, as you pull it out, I'll stitch it up. Rip. I meant rib. Alright. When you pull... When you pull back, I'll be ready to start stitching, okay? Okay. So you count it down. We're gonna go on one. Okay. Three, two, one. I mean, we got thrown off a bridge. Tied up. No, I actually didn't, because I was running around with a bow. <laughs> Rabbit, do you know if that drain is still draining or has it emptied all already? Because we could uh, go ahead and remove it, stitch it up, and then get her stitched up on the front side here. Got it. I don't necessarily know what they need. Uh, it looks like it's uh, slowed significantly. Okay. Uh, Morgan, why don't you set the bone, just rinse it off from any of the bone dust. Set it on a piece of gauze on her, um, torso right here. Mm -hmm. As soon as I get this tubing out, uh, stitched up, then, uh, I'll put the bone back together. I want you to have a seat before you pass out, okay? Okay. Gonna sit on the floor. Please let me know if you need anything. Do you, do you need, like, something to eat or drink? Have you eaten today? Okay. And, like, anything else? And I can bring you, like, a tea. Alright. Hey, um, <laughs> your friend Jeremiah just wanted me to let you know. The male clerk is fine, guys. Let them have their repeat. They are going to go out. I'm gonna move over here. The Valentine mm -hmm. area. I'm going to be using the bone stress. file on the inner rib I mean, part that's still, still attached here. I've got to be very careful. It's so part it's of not the, to damage anything else. It's part of the consequences of the If you could do me a favor yeah, yeah. and uh, irrigate and then clear with gauze as I'm filing yeah, so okay. that none of the bone dust goes anywhere it shouldn't, okay? All right. All right. Thank you, Rabbit. All right. Let's, let's go see if they're still there. Hold on. If there's anything else you need, I'll be around. Thank you, Morgan. No problem. <laughs> well, that would be your choice, part-time dishwasher. I don't, I don't care for medical RP either, but these people are putting a lot of time and effort into it, and uh, it's kind of like going to Cisco. Sometimes you just have to do it. Thank you. You're doing wonderful. You're doing wonderful there, Saffron. Oh, goodness. Yeah, right. That's I, I don't want to just sit here and make pain noises for an hour, so I've I've been passed out for a bit here. <laughs> I'll let them do their thing. 
I forgot, Saffron has a metal plate and a collarbone, too. Alright, same thing's gonna happen here. I'm gonna take this small bone drill. I'm gonna create two <laughs> holes on this side of the rib. I'm gonna create two holes on the other side of the rib. That's sitting here on her chest. Uh, as we're doing the ones that are still inside right now, I'm gonna be going slow. Once I get through it, I'm going to pull back. As I'm pulling back, I need you to irrigate so that the bone dust comes away, okay? All right. All right. Right, I know. It's, it's, not, it's not very good viewing. Sorry, guys. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I usually uh, don't emote very severe injuries. This is one of those more severe... Hey, Liv! Maybe Saffron should have stayed in the saloon. No, they went and got a posse of like five or six. So. Of course, even though it was like a whole two seconds. <laughs> they're, uh, they're putting my bones back together. That soup would have been so delicious. I know. Got out of there before the soup. They're aligning the bone, doing stuff with it. I'll just lay here flopped on the table. That's cool that there was witnesses though. That's that's for sure. Awesome there was witnesses. Alright, if you can just irrigate the area and clear it again for me, I'm gonna double check and make sure there's nothing else that's missed in here. You got it. Now I'm thinking Saf might go up to with PD to recover or something like that. That would be good. Hopefully they're around. I know, right? That I just met them treasure hunting up there. Thanks for the follows, guys. I know this is going to sound really bad, but could you, uh, kill the pigs? The pigs <laughs> are coming in here to eat me. Trust me, they'll start trying to nibble on her. Give me, give me a... The pigs are <laughs> literally trying to eat second. me. I want to back up. Oh my goodness, look at the blood splurts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, Just that, because my, nibbling on her, you know, sorry. dead body here, nope, the bugs, totally understood. the pigs come in and eat the dead bodies. This is going to sound real bad, but can you kill the pigs? <laughs> the other one's gone, so I think we're clear there. Somebody lets them out of the thing, they get in here. They start trying to nibble on our patients. <laughs> That's the most ghoulish thing I've ever heard, but okay. It's horrifying. Yeah, I, like I said, I knew it wasn't going to sound good, but I, I apologize and I thank you for handling it. Dr. Piggly Wiggly. Tonic, thank you for the gifted sub. Aww. I don't know. I, I don't know what they're looking for. She seems to be stabilizing. Okay.
No. Uh, well, she probably blew out her eardrum on the left side. Uh, okay, is she bleeding from her ear? Hmm. Can you, uh, feel gently around her skull, see if you feel any fractures, breaks, anything of that nature? Skull feels fine. Water, blood from ear canal. What you doing, my cashew doggy? My, my cashew doggy, he's my good boy. Yes, he is. He's my good doggy. I'm getting this new dog. My dad was already asking if I was gonna. Her skull asked. seems okay. <laughs> he thinks I was gonna get another one. I said, "Well, maybe a year before okay. I get a I second pulley." It could be a ruptured eardrum. Yes, ruptured eardrum um, is correct. I mean, I heard tell that she was over at a bridge. Do we know how she obtained all these injuries? Um, obviously, uh, she was shot, but do we know if she was thrown into water or anything of the nature? I've got no clue. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it definitely looks like she was submerged. You can die. I've, I've, my own eardrums have burst. One of them. Actually, my left side. From infection, though. I can hear out of it now, but I did have reduced hearing in that ear for a very long time. Alright, I'm gonna kind of roll her over to her left side. I'm gonna take a tool and I'm gonna look inside her ear, okay? Okay. I can help that. Turn it over, I mean. Thank you. Just mm. gently. I, um... Need to go back again and just make sure that I was able to get all the pellets out of her back when I was going through them earlier. Yeah, of course. I might miss that. Okay. There's a lot going on, so I'm going to switch to helping with the, the lung. Huh. I'm not sure if I see him clearly if I got it all. I bet they thought it was a brain bleed, maybe. It's hard to keep track of everything going on, but did get shot. Yeah, I don't know, folk metal, but people also get shot constantly, really bad, all the time, and are fine all right, um, two days later, so, you know. The is definitely ruptured here, and what we're going to do is we'll get an oil and we'll place in it after we're done. It's not really, you know, a place I can stitch up or anything. Most of the time, eardrums repair themselves, so, but the pain is going to be immense, um. Actually, it it felt sure fine they, uh, after it burst. It hurt until it burst. There's something to help with that and prevent infection there. All right, and then I'm gonna roll her back this way so I can take a look at her back again, where I'd taken out fragments earlier. I just wanted to make sure I got all the fragments. And I said I switched real quick, so I'm not sure if I seen if I got them all. I understand. Yeah, I mean, people like Jesse James got shot up quite a bit. I mean, took bullets through the lungs and stuff like that, but it took him six months to recover from stuff like that. Like, it was a long time. There was one point, I think, where he was almost an invalid for three years from getting shot in the abdomen or something like that. Like, bullet wounds are no joke. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why I had it be broken, so they could just take it out. They put it together plates, so that's that's a pretty good outcome. Uh, that'll that'll keep it stable. I mean, my jaw was my own my actual IRL jaws were chopped apart in 
put to get back together with pins and you know obviously there was a healing period but it wasn't super long yeah wibbly wobbly timey wimey medical and prison time on rp servers yep because you know it's all about accessibility of rp yeah my jaws called upper and lower maxilliofacial surgery look it up <sighs> Uh, an underbite. But they moved my upper jaws forward and my lower jaws back. Hey, Cashew, my good boy. What are you doing? Puck shot's the absolute worst. You just... Between it and the shotgun, you get so many fragments. You gotta check you'll have different depths and everything else, you know? Right. Most often it's all skin deep and sometimes doesn't even need stitches, but depending on the range, it can go deeper. Alright. I see a couple back here that could use a couple of stitches in them, so I'm gonna Stitch those up real quick. The rest we'll just have to apply a salve. Quite thorough. Uh, I believe that's rabbit. Let, uh, flicker clad. She streams. Flicker clad. It's one of the other people to betray Jack Kimmelman. Do you think, uh, Rabbit, that you could actually run down to the tailors and uh, grab her? Uh, usually, uh, Terry the tailor might be around or something. You can just ask them for uh, one of Saffron's boxes, perhaps, so what? that we yeah. can uh, put some new clothes on her. Yeah, of course. All right, thanks. Can you hear me there? Mm -hmm. Alright, I know you're in a lot of pain. I'm still checking you over. I'm just gonna reposition yeah. you a little bit, okay? We're gonna get you cleaned up and get some new clothes on you. Alright. Got thrown off a, a Bacchus bridge. I know, dear. <laughs> oh no, saffron tilted. <sighs> Let me get you just resituated here. Mm. Let you lay down a little better here. Oh. Howdy, Saffron. Get into some dry clothes here, okay? Alright. Tighten up the gun belt and. I don't want you moving too much. We're gonna have to put a. I'm gonna have to basically tie your shoulder down to your, your side here just for a couple of days while your shoulder heals up, okay? Alright. Dry clothes will definitely feel much better. Mm -hmm. Uh, because she reported him for a crime he committed. That is why. Alright, I wrote that. Okay. 
Hyro and Bloodmouth are okay. They're walking around. Hyro's already back to cursing and whatnot, so he's fine. If you tell them, if you tell them that I'm here, they know you're here. Or if... But I can go find them for you. <sighs> Alright, I'm placing two splints on each side here. Oh. This is just to support your ribs, okay? You've got uh, some major bruising going on over here. I applied a salve over it. It's gonna help some. You'll have to wear this corset for at least a week, and then we'll reassess, okay? Bye. Uh, it was only and one good report. You can go get one of the fancier <clears throat> corsets, but this one will work as well, okay? Yeah, that was the only thing she reported him for. It was one gun report. And she said, truthfully, she couldn't tell for sure if Tommy was at the bank rob at the bank robbery because he had a mask on. Now I've gotta take your shoulder and I'm just going to from the elbow over kinda of wrap it to your torso. Just to let your shoulder heal up a little bit better. We only need to do this, you know, for at least 48 hours, and then we'll reassess and see if we can move you to just a regular sling, okay? Bye. Yeah, there was literally witnesses. Yeah, and the Wapiti with her, were with her when they captured her. There's, there's kind of no getting out of it for them. <laughs> well, I'll give you something more for pain in a moment. She won't be able to describe no, anyone who was there, the though. On them before. Mm -hmm. With all your injuries, you probably want something a little strong. Do you want me to stick to herbs, or do you want me to try something else? I just don't want anything like a lot of them that I administer myself. I, I don't know kind yeah. about. I don't know kind about what you called. I'm not. Yeah, well, I, obviously we have like morphine and stuff like that, but that can all take you down the same path as laudanum. That's why it's or like even you make you laugh. want it. <laughs> I yeah, how about I, yeah, how about I'll give you an injection of morphine. I won't put you on any pills or anything for right now. Just to help settle everything, and then... Afterwards, if you're needing some more support, we'll do that if, it, if the herbs aren't enough, okay? Bye. Okay. Alright. Uh, stop them. They're at the- they're up at Wapiti, so I'm gonna go let them know in person, okay? Okay. And I'll be back soon. You're all good, yeah, Kay? Uh, yeah, I'm good now. Thank right. you. Thank you so okay. much for your help, Rabbit. I mean, Saffron was fearing for her life. She tried bargaining with him and stuff. She right, stopped when she was getting shot at. Your elbow over so that it's not as much pressure on your shoulder. That's okay? textbook fearing for your life. Bye. All right, let me go draw up some medication to give you and uh, get some other things for you. I need to get an oil for your ear too. I'll be right back. I know it's unfortunate. I just I like deals. I like the prolonged stuff that comes with that kind of RP. It would have given Saffron a challenge to work with. Yeah, every mattress in this game has to be completely covered in bleh. All right, love. Morphine burns like the dickens. I'm gonna give it in the top part of your bum. <laughs> oh, thanks! It'll be a little bit slower of a, a delivery <laughs> than going directly into your veins. But I don't want you passing out immediately, okay? So that's why I'm gonna do it this way. Plus, you've already lost quite a bit of blood. If I can do a slower injection into you, but help you with the pain, it's gonna be best. I also wouldn't mind giving you a little bit of blood if I can find somebody to help do so. Um, no. 
You don't want any? No. Okay. Then I'm going to make you a tea that'll help build up your blood volume. Yep, medical arm. I'm just going to fold the waist of your pants down just a little bit so I can see the top part of your gluteus maximus. Yeah, okay. tilted. That's why I'm like, just no. Plus, it's more... I... More medical RP. <laughs> we don't need more medical RP. Alright, it's gonna be a big injection. Like I said, it burns like the dickens as it goes in, okay? Mm -hmm. Gonna move it around a little bit. <laughs> what, doggy? What is it, my boy? What is it, my boy? What? Are you my good doggy? I have to go take care of another doggy tomorrow. You want to come with me when you go play? Alright, I've warmed up these drops here. I'm just gonna put two in your ear. Your eardrum is ruptured. These drops are gonna help heal up the eardrum, but they're also gonna prevent infection from starting in there, and they'll help with the pain too, okay? So way it feels like there's a pillow over the left side in the hut? Yeah, probably. And a good portion of your pain too, uh, especially with the water that was in there. Looks like most of it has drained out, but this will help dry up anything that's left in there, mm -hmm. as well as uh, handle the pain and allow it to uh, heal up, okay? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, Hyro or Bloodmouth or someone will come back down with Rabbit. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't take my money. Who telegrammed me? Just putting a little piece of cotton here on the outside. I'm not pushing it in. That's just going to hold it there. I will warn you when we take the cotton away, I know there is likely to be some blood and stuff on it still. So it's going to take a couple of days for it to heal up enough, okay? Bye. I'm just going to recheck your vitals now. Like I said, I'd like to help Thank build you. up your blood volume again by giving you some strawberry extract and a little beetroot tea, okay? <laughs> Alright. Just promise not to spit the beets at me, that's all. That might make a way better than us. <laughs> They're really wearing red, though. <coughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna... So... Would you like to know everything that I had to do to you? I... Alright, so you... Had a rib that was broken. A uh, good part of it pretty much shattered, so we have filed it down. And we've reconnected it with a metal plate. Oh. The best we can. It is a little bit shorter, you'll notice, uh, <sighs> as some of your swelling goes down. You'll be able to feel that. It's a little different on the other side, but it'll still offer some protection over your organs, okay? A metal plate. I've got one of those in my collarbone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you know what it's like. Um, it did puncture your lung, and you also had a chest <sighs> tube placed in. We've repaired both of those holes, so your lungs are clear now. We do need to watch you for any infection, uh, pneumonia. Anything of that nature that may build up, okay? Mm -hmm. I know it hurts to cough, but what I do want you to do is just try to, when you get the urge, to go ahead and cough as gently as you can. Because moving all of that around is going to be <laughs> ten times better for you. Mm -hmm. Letting it sit there is going to build up a pneumonia, which could be very bad, okay? Um, it does look like your spleen and pancreas are pretty badly bruised over there on the left side. What's that uh, mean? Uh, well, it means that you're going to have a bit of process, uh, struggle processing certain types of food. Your, your pancreas helps basically create energy for your body, so you're going to feel pretty tired over the next few days and everything. 
it should uh, return to normal. It didn't look too damaged that it was ruptured or that I needed to remove it right now. If for some reason, though, uh, it's, it doesn't hold up and, and it does rupture over the next couple of days, we will have to go in and, and remove uh, whatever explodes in that manner, okay? Oh, what? Yeah, I have applied some topical creams that'll help with inflammation and so forth. It's up underneath your corset that we've put on. I just, um, I, I will also be giving you something to help you within your teas. Now, the strawberry extract will actually help clear out your blood um, and build up your volume again. So that will help greatly in healing your pancreas, okay? Bye. Uh, people survive without their spleen all the time. Your pancreas is my bigger concern right now, okay? Bye. You got shot in the back with, um, what, like a lot of buckshot. Yeah. So I was able to remove all of those. I did have to stitch up a couple of those. Surrendered to me. I'm so calmed off my horse. Mm. One was in your shoulder, and so. That's why your shoulder is tied down to you right now. There's just a little bit of damage, but not too much. You know, we didn't have to put a plate back there or anything like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Have you already talked to the deputies, or do you I want me to go see to if I can anyone. find one? I haven't talked to anyone. Okay. And do you remember anything? I have your clothes over here, so I can check it out for any evidence if you think I should or anything like that I, I, I think I can I, I don't I don't know I don't know okay I understand I don't want to overwhelm you too much if there is a deputy there I'll, I'll let them know that you're awake but Bye. I want you to get some rest too you, you've been through a lot do you have a safe place or somebody that you want me to contact I can't. I thought she was going down, but they told me I could stay up on my reservation if I need to. But I didn't give okay. her any news, or I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, we can transfer you up there. I'll um, grab a wagon, so we can take you if that's where you want to go. I need to maybe send a telegram to. Oh. To Marty, you thought? Uh, Deputy Marty? No. The other one that came in when you had the snake bite. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. I did run into him last night. I don't have his telegram. If you want to give it to me, I can go send a telegram for you. Uh. Or I can try to take you down there and, you know, support you and hold you up while you write uh, one with the telegram master. This is SL566. Remember that much, SL566. SL566. Aye, that sounds right. Okay. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get a wagon purchased, okay? And we'll take you up the Wapiti if you're going to feel safer there. I need to pee. Okay. You would you like me to take you out to the house first? No, I need to pay you. Oh, no, you don't need to pay me. You can... No, I do need pay to. It f you can pay it forward next time. Don't, don't worry about that right now. I just want to make sure that you're... You're good, okay? <laughs> and when you're back up on your feet, Shut up, and Eric. turning around and everything else, then you can you can choose to find me, okay? What's your name? That's Doc K. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let me run down to the telegram station, and I'll be right back, okay? Bye. All right. Do you need um your canteens filled or anything before we head out? Uh, I 
Hey, I'm amazed that they got us out of the water. Like, flat out shocked. I did not think that was going to happen at all. Uh, Saf would... Because she was pulled out of the water, like, miraculously, uh, she's going to remember a bit more than I was planning on her remembering, but it's not going to be full details. Like, for instance, that Deacon fella, that's a new name. Uh, she won't remember that. Uh, you know, she won't remember that it was, uh, Frank or whatever who was tying her up. She remember vague details about a bridge and knowing that Tommy went after her. Hello, Reverend. Oh, Saffron. <sighs> Hi, Saffron. Uh... Fortunately, Budmouth and Hyro can't really make the trip down, as they're not feeling too great either, but they do send their best regards and offer you a place to stay up at Wapiti if you need. I think I'd like to go. If you'd like to go uh, now, we can happily take you up there. I think she's getting a wagon or something like that. Who's getting a wagon? Uh, Doctor. Perfect. They will escort you up. I don't think I can read. I don't know what happened to Zephyr. Oh, there's this. Sorry? Gunshot outside. Oh. How's the pain? Nothing. That's not good. You had to be pretty shocked if you said anything different, to be honest. That worse. You have. Mm. Well, that's almost frightening. <sighs> Did our Doc give you something to keep taking, or? I I, I, I don't. I, I don't I can. I, I don't. Things are fine. Just ready, man. Outside of Sheriff's office. Mm, all right. Take it. Anyway. Take it. Red car put his gun away. Uh, yeah, he goes down to the stable to wait. Okay. I'm going to ride down to check Telegram and I will return. Sure. They took my metal detector. How rude. You uh, spend a lot of time at Wapiti? Not particularly yesterday. It was different. Right. I should have just stayed up there. Nah, it didn't happen long at all. But they seem to care for you a great deal. I... Sorry, I'm not uh, too talkative. What's that? I'm sorry, I'm not too talkative. <laughs> no, don't feel obligated to say anything. I just don't got anything to say that wouldn't just be uh, painfully banal at this stage. If I could get some help, I need to get to the bank. I'm down to the core room for now. You going to the bank? Oh, yeah, I need to stop by. Sure. You can uh, take my arm if you need. No. Mm -mm. At least this is a way to show being injured Well, uh, I think she might have gotten the wagon. Yeah, that's her over there. Women up there that are bringing a carriage with injured men to Wapiti. They can get help, medical attention. Are they coming down? Sorry. I didn't hear what you said. Are, are they bringing them back down, or are they... They're bringing them to the Wapiti. They need more medical attention. I want to go to too. So they loaded the men into the back of the wagon? Yes. Hmm. Let me go catch up with them and figure out what exactly is going I on. I let them know I'll be in the clothing store. I'll be out soon. Yeah. Oh. oh. Sorry about that. They shouldn't be too far ahead. Right along. Yeah, yeah. wagon. Yeah, I'm just catching up with them. 
Not be taking most of that off. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Injured. <laughs> Make this really wide. Okay. There. Are you ready? I am. And Marty's just out here too, so. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Alright. Do you still need to go to the telegram office? I think that would be good. Okay. The wagon's right over here, dear. Maybe you'll oh, say you're sorry, I'll come. I didn't see it. Don't ever okay. Yeah, it's okay. I am not Thank interested you. in Just leave on me. Right. Manners. Manners don't cost a thing. I'll help you up here and you can lay down. Okay, um... Think about the will of a sleep. I to come as well. I don't know if that'll work. I think I'll fly out. Now, um, I know, I'm shocked they never came to get a statement. Violence uh, comes across the road and uh, only a few of us should address it. What? To keep this in mind. I think we should not have any trouble. No. no I'm gonna just slide right sure. out. This is not working. Deputy McGregor. He's laying in the wagon. Alright, here, let me help you up and out. Alright, you ready? We'll walk up there. Yeah, she won't be crossing bridges for a while. Saffron. Okay, I sell five six six. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I do not expect trouble on the road, but if there is, uh, people on horseback will engage in the wagon. Oh, is that Marty right there? I just telegrammed him. Whoops. Marty? Yeah. Um, just tell me you are right, alright, dear? I don't think I'm alright, though. Uh, is there anything you need? You sounds like you got a lot of people who care about you. Don't take care of you, alright? I'm gonna be in with Petey, I think. Alright. Alright, well, I don't know where Petey is or how to get to it, but try to get up there a couple of days. Come by so you see a friend face. Alright. No. No, thank you, Mart. And you're alright. I'll say you say a couple of prayer Hello. for you. Fancy you, Ben. Thank you. Take you. Care, you take care of yourself, you know alright? The, the native writing is Wapiti's. You take care of yourself. Text. Uh, it is just the same as anyone else's friend. Yeah. Why? Well, then perhaps this message uh, you could translate it for me. The subject of it was a wakta ye kawapi kitsuye iepi kiparzo wasake iepi solye konye kola ye arto. Why don't you just give her the message? I think. Would you you like received to read this it? message? I received it. Uh, whereabouts? It was sent to my telegram. I assume by the Wapitian. I'd gone to a visit up there to talk to them about business, but it went sour. Hey, Dr. K, you need Reason? anything, anything at all, you let me know, alright? Send me a telegram. 
Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Uh, so most screaming doesn't come through the mic very well. That's that's why I didn't just, you know, let out a really loud scream. Plus my character made screams as she went down, you know? That's that's why. No, if they had if they had decided to sit there and hurt her or something, the, there would have been pain noises. There would have been more. Uh but they chose to end the interaction by throwing her off the bridge, so what can you do? That's just the way it goes sometimes. Alright, what I'm gonna do is just tie you around me. I'm gonna have you ride on my horse with me slow, okay? Alright. Yep, the wagon is doing horrifying things now. I know we don't know each other that well, but just get friendly and lay on my shoulder, okay? Bye. I'm gonna go at a very low pace just to not hurt me more. Bye. I'm thinking he is still using bush, but he knows the trail. We'll catch up. And tell me if it's too much, okay? Be right. Well gonna be a bit of a raid. Would it be okay for you to tell me what happened on the way? I can't tell you too much. That's fine. Tell me what you can. I, uh, there's... I, I, you can't... I... If it put me in danger. I wouldn't worry about that. I mean, if you don't want to see anything, that is, of course, your choice. But I don't exhaust her before she gets rest. Leave her mind be. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. I can't say anything right now. It's nearly killed McGregor, think about it. Um, just relax, it's okay. <laughs> Did she speak with... Oh, with Hyrule and Blood Mouth? I will. Did they see anything? They did. But I need to take their statements. When they told us initially, it was very quick. And we tried to get up there to you as quickly as we could, but by the time we were there, there was no one. And I think for the time, you're gonna have to just go off of what they gave you. And maybe follow up with them. I'm sorry. I... I just... <sighs> You need to heal up some first. N nothing safe. Yeah. I need a fucking vacation. Did you see what happened? I know you've only got one arm to wrap around me, but if something does happen, I want you to hold on even tighter than the blankets are holding you to me, okay? Aye. And it'd be painful, but I'll have to ride hard. I feel bad because I, I want to tell McGregor stuff, but I don't want to tell it around other people. Uh, and it's it's going to be fairly sparse. Let's like that like because I don't want to like push off his RP, you know? But I did get chucked off a bridge for 
telling the law on these people. Yeah, it would be good for him to know what the... Like, to hear more from from the Wapiti would be better. Because there were witnesses. You can probably go faster if you need to. I'll be a read. I'm just worried about that plate shifting too much on... I don't want to pick it up too much. Look on at the slowest canter taking people across here before. But I'll speed it up a little bit if you're comfortable. Aye. Yes, we have Doc K and uh, Vincent. We have uh, Deputy McGregor also. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you, Hyra. Thank you. I'm gonna help you down, okay? Let me help you over this way. Bye. That's still here. I don't know where he's gone. Oh, here, doctor. I have a, a good, comfortable place. Do you need help moving okay. her? Where would you like me to take her? She's leaning on me right now. To my teepee, over here. The one with the green patch on it. This is this one way. over here. This way is clearest. I'll answer any questions you have, Deputy. The Chief is not here. I will go to the other tender. I will be back. It should be warm enough inside. I keep a light fire pretty much all hours. Yeah, I'll just get her situated. Do you need any help? I can move my things. No, I think it's okay. All right. You want to speak to McGregor in here, or... Don't leave me in here. Would you like me to? Aye. All right. Let me go. I understand where what happened. Settled. Feel free to enter my home. I'll be there in a moment. I'm just going to check your vitals here real quick, okay? After the travel, make sure you're still good. I don't know. <laughs> Most consistent with moderate blood loss and shock recovery. I'm not that good at the medical stuff. Alright. I'm gonna go out here and make you a tea, okay? That you can maybe sip on. Bye. And I'll be back over here, alright? Bye. Do you want me to wait for Hyro to come back in here before I leave you, or? Well, you've, you've done so much. I'm like, do what you need to. I don't don't want to keep you or anything like that. No, you're oh. my patient. You're my priority. So, I'm just asking. Uh, wh whatever you think is best, then. Oh. He's coming. I see him on the way anyways. All right. Is it safe for me to enter? Yes, sir. I'm gonna go make her some tea, okay? I'll give you guys a moment. The fire outside has been burning for some time. The stone should be hot enough to boil. Thank you. His blood knife coming in there. Uh, he says for the time he does not wish to. Does he not wish to give a statement? He and I were both party to this. His testimony will be the same as mine. All right. Uh, <coughs> would it be okay if I wrote down what you said? Of course. You know me to be an honest man. I take no objection to all of this. I, I just um, have to stand up to do it, and I didn't want to, you know, offend you in your home. No, 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 no! Don't worry about this. As long as you understand, this is not a latrine. This is all that matters. <laughs> oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. uh, and we both get on laugh right now, Saffron. Let me uh, look and see what um, the sheriff has written down so far. Actually, I don't think there is another one. Okay. After this, if you wish to confirm with Bloodmouth that everything I have said is what is true, I, I will take no offense to this either. I understand that this may be peace of mind for you. Hey, I'll probably just, you know, read what you said to him, and he'll just let me know if that's what happened. In uh, his point of view. So, just uh, confirm for me. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions, and then I'll take your whole statement, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can you confirm for me that Tommy Two Snakes was involved in this? Tommy Two Snakes, Mama Christine, Eugene... The broad man, Frank, with a oh, he large knows mustache. Everybody! And then two others. One is a man that wears a long tan coat. He's fired one that fired rifles at us. And then a man with a very dark complexion and a dark brown coat. that wound stuff. I've already given her strawberry extract. She seems really dizzy and out of it. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some water, uh, drench a rag in cool water. He put that in the back of her neck. Uh, These I'll I know by name. More gauze up her the nose. other two I don't. See if oh, that no. stops the bleeding. All right, Ira. Um, it's been a very, very long day. Mm -hmm. So I would beg of you, uh, try to be concise, uh, so that I can wrap my head around what you're saying. If that makes sense. I will say what I need to do with as few words as I can, and if you <laughs> need more detail, stop me and ask for more. That would be perfect. Do you want the full account of this? Aye, go ahead. When I stepped from my teepee, I saw Saffron was here at the reservation, as was Bloodmouth. After some time here, talking about Saffron being surrounded by two snakes and his band down in Valentine, Bloodmouth asked Saffron to come up here for her safety and well-being. She spent a great deal of time here yesterday. We showed her some of our traditions and made it clear that she was safe to stay here as long as she needed without worry of overstaying welcome. So after night passes, we ride down I'm south sorry. from the east side of the reservation into the birch forest. And right after we make the right turn into the roads of Cumberland near Fort Wallace, a group of six with weapons drawn ride past us. Afterwards, they stop behind us, turn, and begin to make chase. Bloodmouth and I say to Saffron to ride quickly on forward, and she does this. The man with the mustache, Frank, gets past us, but I figure Saffron is capable enough to deal with this. So Bloodmouth and I begin weaving in front of the others to make it difficult for them to pass us. When they begin aiming weapons, Bloodmouth pulls a rope and yanks Eugene from the back of a horse off onto the ground. After this, the man in the long tan coat dismounts, pulls a rifle, and begins firing at Bloodmouth. He has a good memory of this I pull my Schofield and I empty it at the man, and I see him go down. As I retreat to reload and then re-enter, uh, I am shot from behind, and my horse trips over something and drops me. Eugene comes over and says, you Hold son for of a, a moment. Yes. You're saying that the man with a long coat? Open fire first. Open fire first. I heard no words exchanged between us at this time, but I assume after Bloodmouth pulls Eugene from the horse, this is when the man dismounts and starts firing. I see the smoke leave his rifle, so I pull my pistol and fire six shots at him. You shoot the man with the long coat. The tan long coat, yes. Tan long coat, okay. I don't remember exactly what happened, but I've got... I've been shot in the back. I took one round to the back. Like shotgun. From distance. It doesn't seem like it was terrible. I don't know if it was shotgun or rifle. It was a long arm, at least. So oh, you I think shoot, we're trapped you in the here. Man with the, uh, the long time shut. and tell me what happens next. <laughs> well, I shoot at him. I see him go down. I don't know if it was me or if Bloodmouth threw a tomahawk and landed it on him. 
Okay. After this, I'm shot once from behind. My horse goes down and I'm hurt. Eugene comes over and sneers, you son of a bitch. Uh, this will teach you to rope me from my horse. Clearly he does not understand who does what. He does not know us at all. I've never met him up here. He doubt he would know the difference between me and Blood Mo. I only met him once before and he gave me a false name and Strawberry, but I know of him. I have seen him with two snakes and his mother before. Okay. So, uh, you got shot from behind, Eugene taunts you, and then what happens next? And we are all brought together. Saffron is right. tied up. Um, I believe she is writhing and she's upset, weeping about this. Bloodmouth is brought over as well. His horse has been killed. My horse is alive, but is injured. Um... Did you bring see us what all happened together. To Zephyr? Did you see what happened to him or didn't see? After the gun smoke cleared, I'm fairly certain I heard hoof beats off. Mm. They didn't execute any horses after. Okay, I was looking so around me, I was holding the side. You're both injured, um Saffron's tied up. Mm -hmm. Now what happened? Put on the back of a horse. They put it on a horse, okay. Mama Christine comes over and says we can't do anything to these two. We got to do right by the natives. Get them up and send them to town to walk. So Frank comes over and starts bandaging me. I say, Frank, is that you? Do you remember when we spoke in Blackwater? And he says, yeah, I remember you. You were whining about your woman. And that this confirms to me because only he and Klaus were there for that conversation. I recognized his voice and his mustache and his broad stature. He's a... An intimidating figure. He's difficult to forget. <coughs> and Frank bandaged you? He threw a hasty dressing over me and got me on my feet. Okay. And when I got up, he told me to put my hands up and he took a bolt-action rifle with an eagle on the buttstock and a Landcaster from me. Dude! So Coolish just takes all the weapons! $50 worth of things. A bolt action with an eagle? An eagle on the buttstock. And a Lancaster that's marked and unremarkable. But fully loaded. Alright, continue. Uh, after this, he was... Mama Christine says, do take their axes away from them, though. You better take those axes. And I bargain with Frank and I say... To me, this tomahawk I carry was worth more to me than my life. I beg of you, I swear that you know I am an honest man. Leave me with this, and I will not raise it against you. Oh, no. And he says, fine. That's fine. You can keep my pistol. It was still unloaded. Why? Okay. Uh, so he steals the guns off of you, and um, then... They take Saffron and ride off. Bloodmouth says he hears one of them yell about Bacchus. There are two witnesses I know of. Sees what happens there. But it would be better to speak of this elsewhere. One is one of my brothers. He's here at the reservation. Was there anything else that happened? Bloodmouth and I, as we walk away, we figure we have just enough time to make it to town as injured as we were before nightfall. We get to the edge of town just as the sun sets. So this takes place within a day. Okay. Of course. I, I trust you to understand what is being said in your doctor. I uh, can charge them for a few things with that statement, especially if Bloodmouth uh, corroborates. Um, it has been cold, so you can go ahead and begin sipping on it, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. While she stays here, Doctor, will she require any attention, even if she sleeps? Uh, not while she sleeps, you know, unless she starts developing a fever. Then uh, peppermint oil to the feet will help reduce the fever. I would chemo these things. 
She has been sharing this tent with me lately, and it would be better if Saffron rests I here to so. have another woman with her. Yeah, I can, I can talk to Shima about care for her. They should and be in Wachuge's tent if you know where this is. Okay. Just Nay, thanks for following. Just notify me if there are anything. I know you have Marta as well, but any support would be happy to do. Okay? Of course. Alright, I'll go talk to Kima. It is the TP to the left of where the merchant wide hands sells his goods. Okay, thank you. Hmm? Okay. Um let me take a moment and talk to Bloodmouth. Uh I can tell you, um we can bring this whole the those that you were able to identify, we can get them for what you talked to us about. Are you able to do this without identifying directly that it was us? You can't hear? <sighs> Who? There were multiple witnesses in the woods as well. In the woods? I could give you these names. I... I do not... Saffron, do you care if I do not speak of directly who this is? Uh, for your own safety? Um, so, wait, uh, what's, what's the question? After you were taken, there were two people I know of that saw what happened. Uh, just as long as I can be said that I didn't, I didn't snatch that they're not. I know come why they do me. these things for you. This is why I say it would most likely be best for you to not hear these things. You know, that way no one can point fingers at you for this. They're gonna point fingers anywhere they want, no matter what. I think, but if you don't want to say anything, you don't have to. I only remember fine. wee bits. I can't cooperate descriptions. I don't... It's like shadowed figures. I know a wee bit about who's involved, but that's it. Only because they've been hunting me all week. Hopefully they're not truly monsters, and this attempt on your life will satisfy whatever lust they have for what they had for you. Okay. If not, um, then they asked far too much. They already did. I'm gonna go talk to Bloodmouth. I'll be right back. Do you need anything right now? Uh, no, I, I don't. Thank you. Do you need any help getting comfortable? I can fetch somebody that'd be more appropriate for this. I, I think I'll be alright. I'll just need to. I just need to rest. Is there anything I can do right now? I, I don't think so. I'll probably end up going to sleep here soon. As long as you need this TP, it can be home to you. Thank you. I'm sorry to intrude. You will be well to recover here. Thank I you. can sleep elsewhere for now. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I, I do not say this with hesitation. This is, this is good. His knee has a hole. If you wish to get some rest, is there anything you wish for me to pass along? No, I, I, I don't. I don't think there's anything I can really tell them too much. I just remember flying from that bridge. Do you remember who finds you? Uh, I remember the voices of some deputies, that was it. Uh, then I shall speak to McGregor outside the tents. We do not disturb you with these things. All right. Thank you. Of course. If you need anything, just find any of us. Bye. Wide hands should be able to get you anything you need as well. All right. Yeah, he really, he knew everything. Goodness was not what I was expect. I mean, I kind of expect to be hunted down. I didn't think they were going to go out so hardcore full force. Yikes. Because they'd been, you know, trying, but not, like, really trying. But then they decided to really try. Yeah, I still kind of wish they'd, you know, tried to, like, pressure her a little bit instead of cutting to let's chuck her off a bridge. That's that's really just 
you know, extend it, draw it out. That would have been fun. But that's okay. You can't dictate how RP goes. It just kind of happens. Like, why would Saffron go hand herself into some crazy people? But, yeah. I actually did, I did want to go and try and speak to Tommy in town, but, you know, when there's, like, deputies around and stuff. But, you know, and, and that's another thing, is you can only see it escalate from the one side. Like, I don't see that side. And when I know I'm in conflict with people, I try and avoid watching their streams and stuff. Because I don't want the, I don't want the meta. How does one respond to a hiss through a window as she's stitching up gun? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I know, it's so sad, because Saffron's such a sweet, gentle person, and it's so sad. Uh, Saffron's view of Tommy is that he's a, well, especially now, he's a really horrible criminal person who shouldn't be out free in society. Uh, she feels terribly sorry for him, that he's so, such a bad person. <laughs> Uh, Saffron's the kind of person who can forgive anybody, but they've got to be, you know, I mean, she'll forgive him. She'll forgive him regardless of his attitude, but doesn't mean she'll ever trust him in any way. Yeah, there's no misunderstood nothing. Yeah, no, she has friends. I did not expect her to end up in Wapiti. That is for sure. It's quite the turn of events. We'll see where it goes. There's only one thing worse than being mom and boy's enemy that's being their friend. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>